Welcome, welcome, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back here to Tavern Tales at DreamHack Bucharest 2015. I'm your host, Nimsh, and I'm joined here by four... Sam. Are you four, Sam? I am. I'm also hungover. Dude, what happened? <laughs> what happened? Like, I, you were supposed to cast with me yesterday, like, two last matches, and, like, I turned... No, I weren't. Are you sure? Yeah. We had uh, we had two breaks each, you know, and I took mine. I synchronized them at the end, you know. Oh, you disappeared. <laughs> yeah. But you're here now. I'm here now to cast some awesome games and the finals today. Can, can you do it, though? I can. All I right. Can, I can do anything. I have support for you because mm -hmm. I, I hired Green Sheep and he's going to, to help us here. Sweet. All right. So, Green Sheep, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Same as always. Cheerful. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good to have you here. And uh, we are going to open the day with uh, Lothar versus Impact. We have a great top eight and a fantastic bracket. And uh, we had a great today. So let's summarize what happened actually to this time. Mm -hmm. Like on Friday, we had 32 people. Yes. Uh, only, I would like to say, three invited players got through, right? The yeah. rest was qualifiers. Yeah, yes. We have Colento, we have Thais, and we have Firebat. All of those uh, invited players actually well, went on. No, uh, powder. Oh, yeah. powder. powder I mean. Oh, so actually, yes, too. Yeah, it's only yeah. fire button and Colento. Yeah. So, so this is the bracket. Interesting. This is the bracket, guys. Impact Lothar first, then Stanislav <coughs> Sivka, Colento, Powder, Vortex, Bekuza, Bikaz, Firebat. This is our top eight, and as Forsen mentioned, only Colento and um, and Firebat went through yesterday. Nice to see some fresh blood. Uh, yeah, powder is, is totally new to the scene. Oh wait, <laughs> no, I mean like uh, not yet, not not powder specifically, but you know Bakus. Not many knows who yeah. that is. Yeah. Like if you didn't watch the EU versus China, you probably don't know who Stan Sivka is either. So it, there's like plenty of semi-new faces to people who doesn't watch every tournament in Hearthstone. And uh, Stanislav Sivka is a black horse of the tournament. Like not many n knew him before mm -hmm. but people watch his games and he th and they're like wow i'm impressed this guy is actually playing really S good speaking about that i actually talked to Kulento yesterday and he thought that stansivka might actually beat him today and Whoa. go to the finals stansivka really wanted to play versus Kulento, uh but uh, the first game is about lothar and impact and uh tell me more about lothar guys green sheep who's lothar well lothar plays for the team Nih nihilum as much m much may know um, he's actually been performing quite well uh, in the past few tournaments. He's been top eighting uh, quite a few, and uh, in this tournament, he actually didn't get invited. He came through the open qualifier of 32 and made it past two group stages and won in his top 16 game. So he's on a pretty good run at the moment, and he's hoping to get his first major tournament win. That's pretty impressive. And um, I heard that you actually helped Impact a bit prepare for today yeah. for this match impacts uh, in my practice group he's one of my main practice partners and he's feeling really confident today um, really i mean i was out until like five in the morning without this guy <laughs> <laughs> i would not be feeling very confident at all you know <laughs> well he, he thinks he he should win this game really easily uh -huh. that's what he thinks he's really confident he, he doesn't think any chance they will lose this game <laughs> and uh, i i think with the help of uh, the practice group we've made I'm pretty, pretty sure. Lineup for him. I'm pretty sure that shots fired, right? Because if you're really hungover and you're still 100% sure you will win, like had to say something about uh, your opponent. And he he was he was partying with you. Yeah. I think till 2 a.m. in the morning he was actually afraid, but then around 5 a.m. he was immortal. <laughs> Nothing yeah. can defeat him now. Yeah. He, he is it in that mindset, you know. Yeah, he was singing karaoke and shit. Though. It's like it was pretty funny. <laughs> I liked that guy. He had fun. Well, he had fun. He, and he's having fun playing Hearthstone here. But I want to give a shout out to PGL team uh, for organizing the event, for uh, having the event on, on Twitch, and for the production team for all the good stuff they're doing. All right. So, um, first and predictions. Who is going to win this? I mean, I gotta go with confidence of impact here. Uh, We've seen uh, Lothar struggle a lot. Uh, like every series he played, it's been really close, like 3 2 and like yeah, stuff like yeah. that. So I, I, I don't think he's comfortable playing against the Green Patron Warrior. And I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to see from Impact. But no, it is no. actually a. Uh, he switched it up. It's actually classical control warrior yeah. now. It's All right, really guys. Control warrior. Uh, Impact's reasoning for this is that he, he reckoned that. Lothar, since he he picked Warrior for all of his group stage matches, they continue with the Warrior. 
and he reckoned that with his confidence that he could beat him in the mirror match. Yeah, uh, Lothar did struggle in the mirror every time we saw him play, so uh, it's not a bad strategy by Impact to, to force that control worry mirror, maybe. Uh, it just so happened that he also got it <laughs> first game, so I, I bet he's pretty happy about that. Also, the fact that Lothar is running Hunter uh, must be a relief for Impact because Hunt it's most likely going to be face Hunter, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't see Lothar running uh, midrange Hunter here. Well, what a great match to start the day. War vs. War, one of the most interesting um, games. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't it's agree be a long more. Day. Yeah, we, we love joking about this, this match, but as Forsen said before, uh, this is one of the, the, the matches that's really skill intensive. You, you have to know what you're doing Greetings. at every turn you take. Greetings, yeah, thanks. for sure. And uh, we s I, I think that currently the, the one who has the weapons are slightly favored here, uh, yeah. but every can, everything can change. Uh, Oh, there's an armorsmith on turn 2 as well. So first yeah. thing, you coached Lothar to uh, armorsmith on 2. Yeah, he didn't want to play it before because he was afraid of a weapon or uh, afraid of Ac uh, his opponent playing Ackler on turn 3. But there is no good uh, warrior player who would uh, like coin out an Acolyte here because you're running the risk of losing it to a weapon. So no one would do yeah, that. So it, it's it's pretty safe strategy to play it on turn two, even if you don't have an answer for Acolyte. And especially with uh, the minions in Impact's hand, I think you'd rather save the coin to probably coin out a Shield Maiden and then curve it out into a Sylvanas and uh, Baron Geddon. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's, it's nice to have the coin in this matchup. Uh, it's such a tempo swing if you can get that weapon out earlier and or get that uh, whatever like Dr. Boom out earlier on turn six like it's it's such a tempo swing and he's really debating whether or not he wants to play this armor smith yeah if he plays the armor smith then the fiery war axe could trade into it exactly. along with the armor smith to kill it off are you sure about it though because like he seems like thinking what am I doing here? Uh, he's, what actually am I doing going for the, he's actually going for uh, the play, hoping he doesn't have an, uh, a Fairy War Axe here. Yeah, which he doesn't at the moment. Yeah. Which is fortunate. Alright, so is Lothar going to top deck Fairy War Axe? Oh he does! Oh my god! Oh, he did special. get it and in fact is getting punished for this greedy decision. Well, it was played. good at the time. Mm, yeah. Yeah, it was only Fairy War Axe. I mean, um, it, since he coined out that Acolyte, uh, there was no chance of his opponent uh, being able to play Death Spite uh, since he got it out one turn earlier. Yeah. So uh, that was pretty, pretty good, actually. That was intense. The most intense thing I've seen in this matchup. Yeah. Not any plays for Lobo this turn, probably just an armor on pass. Yeah, one of the things in the, when you play Warrior vs. Warrior is patience. You really have to know when not to do anything. And you, not, you don't do anything most of the time. Yeah, you want to get as much value out of your cards as possible. True. So like, um, sometimes you just armor up on turn 7. Yeah. Mm. Not playing Sylvanas or stuff like that, so... Alright, um, Green Sheep, what's your insight on the Impact stacks? Because you said you you, you helped him. What are... what is the Druid and Warrior? Uh, Warlock? Well, uh, the Druid is a, a combo Druid. Uh, with quite a, a lot of late game oriented uh, stuff such as Ragnaros and uh, Dr. Boom, of course. Right. And uh, the Warlock is actually uh, as Which has Implosion, Sea Giant, like Argent Squires, just fill up the board really early and try to get the Sea Giants as fast as possible and try to burst down your opponent. He's really thinking about these armor smiths right now. He doesn't want to lose them. Like if if you don't play as one, you play both if you're gonna play the armsmith mm. because you know one is gonna die to the. You can't kill both because you can't have two weapons. You know. Are you happy with losing an armsmith and uh, just having one weapon out of the way? If you play double armsmith now, you can hide at least one behind the belcher next turn. So that's one benefit. But I mean, it dies for basically free, so that's a problem. Uh, I think it's reasonable to play them both because you do force Lothar to spend up his axe charge and he might not have another weapon. Oh, he does. He plays one only. That's a uh, weird play. I would probably have played both or none. Like, uh, he's playing one 
Like, that just dies, and... I don't know. You kinda wanna get rid of the fireworks as well, because if your opponent has a bounce for next turn, you want to equip a death spike. Hit with, to get with the armor to kill the first body. What if I was drawn at all? Uh, most of his weapons. Oh, he's all of the, uh, oh, 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 maybe go out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, looking at those hands then. Oh, have, have hi mom. <laughs> having all the weapons. Whoops. Ooh. Having, having all the weapons here. Um, who's, uh, who has an advantage? It's like, impacts hand better with the minions. What? Oh, I, I'm not sure drawing all the all the weapons is that good yeah. because you, you can't play them all since you, like the death spite has two charges and so do all the other weapons. So they're, they're mostly dead cards. I bet Kit Kats would lie if he brawled here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 50% skill armor set. 100% skill armor set. Rick puts the death spite. So if, if the Belch is played this turn, then it can be cleared by the, the Death Spite and the Armor Smith. I think there is still... it's still fine to play that Belcher though. Yeah, I think you have to. It's the only play you have. It's not a fit of Harrison Jones. Nope, no respect for Harrison Jones. But on, on the other hand, like, you have so many weapons. Yeah, I guess you played the Belcher here, like, really. Like, it's gonna die, but it's gonna at least kill off the Armor Smith. Uh, unless he uses, I don't know what, like a cool taskmaster or something. And then uh, you have the slime spawn, so it, yeah. it does protect your shield From the second that, that you're probably going to play next turn. Alright, so Impact just agonizing. Mm, just taking his time. He's trying to recover, you know. Yeah. Well, why did I go out <laughs> last night? That's what he's thinking right now. Well, what's the story about Impact not waking up at all? Like, I heard some stuff about Impact still asleep. Well, yeah, uh, Impact actually ended up in my room and slept on my bed for around two hours. And we, we had a, a hectic time of trying to get him up because he just wouldn't wake up. Eventually, uh, Ecop came in and dealt with it. <laughs> Alright, dealt with it harsh. <laughs> and instantly, Impact just got up, went to the shower, and is here now. Do you think Impact might be affected by the time zone change? Like he, he did fly from US. Yeah, but I think he's had uh, a few days. Yeah, I, yeah, I think he's pretty, pretty good. I mean, it's mostly probably the drinking, you know, <laughs> probably. Well, we are in a tavern. Yeah, <laughs> the tavern tales. So you have to enjoy yourself. For sure. The, both of these players are taking like extremely what long no. uh, return. L really, really like this match is super important for both of them. Uh, I think. This is elimination, like warrior versus warrior specifically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, I think like both players, they do take time when um, thinking about the plays. Like Godfather is known as being one of the slowest players as well, if not for life code. Godfather might be the slowest player. <laughs> it's funny that they actually are on the same team. I mean, it's not that important for uh, impact. To take a take a win here uh, because he counters uh, both hunters and free smash if that is in fact free smash with yeah. his warrior. So it's not that important. But the fact that you're denying uh, Lothar from uh, winning this matchup because he has weak matchups against the rest. Uh, yeah, definitely. The so yeah, the zoo. This so, is very important because so it's actually more about uh, denying Lothar's win than actually getting a win yourself with the warrior here. Yeah. And Lothar's uh, history in this tournament with Warrior wins is actually pretty, pretty bad. I think he is two to five right now. Yeah. And the the two ma the two games he won were actually the the games that <laughs> helped him to advance. We see Impact trying to make some eye contact. <laughs> Hashtag thirty percent. There are quite a few options this turn. Uh, he could opt to attack in with the slime and execute, and then play the Sludge Belcher. Yeah, Try I mean, waste the charge. I, I kind of like uh, just like playing armor smith instead, uh, but the same play, like uh, executing but playing the armor smith. Yeah, because you're forcing it, you're forcing him to kill it, and uh, like a belcher will die to that weapon. So that's a, that's a problem. You know? yeah. How important Gorhal is in this matchup? Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty good, man. It's like. 
Like you don't care about your uh, health total, so you can chop down your own health uh, before Alexstrasza and uh, like gain armor uh, after that after you chop your health down. So you minimize the efficiency of your opponent's Alexstrasza, yeah, and you just kill off everything on the board. You have to you don't have to use like execute sometimes. You don't have to use uh, shield slams. It's just it's a really great card in this match. Yeah, and Gorhal can even kill off the, the Doctor Boom. Mm -hmm. The only thing it can't kill is Alex Straza and Rag. Rag. And also Grom. What? Is Sarah? <laughs> you Sarah if they play it. I it's doubt pretty they, greedy they to do. play that in them. Oh, if you expect playing against Warrior, then mm. bringing in Sarah is not bad. Yeah, yeah if you but expect the mirror. Probably he was expecting a group pattern Warrior here from Lothar at least. Rip, and rip. Uh, I mean, uh, Impact sure could have gone a bit greedier because there's no way that Lothar would play. Uh, Patron Warrior, uh, most likely, but you know, better safe than sorry, I guess. Oh, there is Dr. Boom pick up. Dr. Boom. He has a huge card advantage, but uh, the board uh, surely belongs to Lothar right now. It um, shouldn't be that hard to deal with this board. My think Gorhal might come out this turn because next turn you can use what Execute as well as Baron Geddon, which kills off the slime and kills off the Shield Maiden. But it also, but it does die to the the death spike. Um, if you if you play Garhau, you take three damage from Belcher, and then you take six. Yeah, it's not that much. What's it's wrong? Much. What's wrong with um, Sylvanas execute here? Yeah, you can Sylvanas no. execute. That that probably would be better since he has no good way mm -hmm. of clearing it. But then on the other hand, like developing Garhau might be the most important thing here because you do deal with something immediately and then you have that core how for the other turns. Yeah, but keep in mind that you have 10 armor right now, so uh, chopping down your own armor right now doesn't make much sense. You'd rather have your opponent use his attacks and then when you're at like 30 health, you start using the gore howl uh, to chop down your own health. Uh, Dr. Boom is still good, but it's yeah. risky. If there's risky. risky. Oh. If there's He's playing execute. double brawl again. Yeah. Why, why Lothar, why? Because he really wanted to counter that uh, Green, Green Patron. Patron. Yeah. yeah, and Impact yeah. was playing Green Patron. He was, but yeah. I mean, are you gonna play? He was playing it for like three rounds, right? Like, like first group stages, second group stages, and uh, the first uh, game of uh, top 16. Uh, I don't think he played, no, he didn't play it in the first group stages. Oh, he I didn't? I think it okay. was just the second group and the uh, top 16. Maybe? Yeah, okay. So, okay, then it makes a bit more sense. Lothar is a brawler. He loves that card. Brawl is pretty no. awful right here, uh, I would say. But all of his options are pretty awful. I mean, he I could... He just might have to do it. He could... Because he has no clean way to clear off the... I mean, you, you have more value on the board mm. uh, than your opponent. Why, why do you want to brawl here? He's gonna go ahead and... Uh, okay. Let's see what the boom bots hit. Uh, I, I, do you like attacking there first uh, with the sludge pressure or take the risk that two bombs... Like the two bo Two bombs deals four damage to Belcher in total, right? Yeah. yeah. Do you think it's, uh, it's a good risk to uh, not attack, attack with the Belcher first? Um, um, it might be too risky actually. Like do you want to protect um, she made him for dying? Mm, yeah, exactly. If your Belcher dies, you have to brawl. Because like you can't clear boom. It's a uh, it's a good uh, backup plan, maybe. I don't know. I think it was like a, a good calculated risk to not attack with the Belcher first yeah. and soak up. Because it's not like it's it's more likely for it to survive uh, than not survive uh, at four HP uh, with two boom bots and uh, two yeah, other targets on the board. But then you're leaving a chance. Yeah, but Horson is a game of chances, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everything is RNG. Your next top deck. Never lucky, big wrench. Yeah. I think this is probably an Orhal turn. Yeah, I, I like Orhal here for sure. Just develop it. Whatever he does, this is the moment where Impact actually starts taking the, the game. Yeah, he has uh, double the cards up. Wow, he's actually not going to do it. So, what he's doing here, he's uh, setting up for Baron Geddon, basically. Yeah. So or Cruel Taskmaster. Oh, Baron speaking Geddon of uh, Baron Geddon. Um, 
So the only way you clear the vulture is to trade in and then attack with the yeah. best bite. Uh, you could play Baron Geddon. Yeah. Attack him. Baron Geddon. That's so awkward though. Uh, I know, yeah. I mean, attack with Shield Maiden and Baron Geddon. You don't have to attack with yeah, Shield Maiden. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have that weapon. You, you, but, then but you haven't seen any executes or shields on this yet. And you end up with like Fireworks, Romage, Double Brawl. That Double Brawl is so dead, especially after seeing Dr. Boom and not using Brawl. The, the, yeah, the biggest question of this match is like, how is the brawl going to give value to Lothar? Can he, will he ever brawl? I think the only way is if Impact plays more than three minions, and the brawl gets great value, and he just decides to go ahead. So yeah, that was the thing. Like he's trying to get the one free. Will he ever brawl? He's got the lie apparently. Is he not? Armorsmith always surviving brawls. That's the KitKat statement. That's the test if you're a true warrior. Let's hope uh, for Lothar's sake. Oh, he actually oh. has Mars and Jaws. And this is his last death spite. So yeah. This is yeah. the only time to play it, unless you think your opponent has a world on his stake. But you should not take that risk, in my opinion. But Impact has rewatched the videos and has seen that Lothar played Gohal the last match. Yeah, he had that like yeah, OTK but strategy. You, you can switch it up, you know? Yeah, uh, definitely. Baron Geddon was Ragnar's former lieutenant until he got fired. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> well, he is on fire still. So. Such funny many well. It's actually cool that Baron Geddon, being one of the first legendaries, as, uh, as well as Ragnaros, they are still in the game, they are still playable. While we have Blackrock Mountain where the guys are back, like as bosses. Pretty cool, bro. It is, yeah. I'm still waiting for Deathwing to be playable, though. Yeah. And I Illidan. You dragon back, you never know. Illid Illidan dropped yesterday to say hi. That's Have you guys seen that? He said hi, I'm Illidan, and then he got fireballed in place. Oh, for Ben of Doom? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Also, and there was a second Malganis for <laughs> yeah. Ben of Doom as well. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. That was crazy. That's well. Sometimes lucky. So Harrison was played. Yeah, that was a good Harrison. He drew a BGH as well, which is a good job. It's not only good to, to like draw a card and get rid of the weapon, but you're um, denying the whirlwind effect. So possibly Gromash maybe will never uh, get an effect. But there's still like double this monster. So you're just cycling. I look at the health totals. Like because yeah. Lothar had so many weapons, he used them to clear. Now he's actually lower on health. Because he had yeah, no minions to play. But it's it's irrelevant because um, because of Alex Rasa. Yeah. So only the armor is really what matters here. And the uh, card advantage. Yeah, exactly. What do you guys think about playing Sarah instead of Alex Traza? Because right now you it do have so much armor. It is uh, pretty good. I mean, it, it's better to play Ysera than Alex Traza uh, in uh, the Warrior Mirror probably. But uh, it's better to replace another card in Alex Traza with Ysera. You know, yeah. if you want to play Greedy. Alex Traza is a really key card yeah. in most match ups. As so a big impact, you do have a lot of options. Yeah. You're not too hungry for cards right here, so playing the Acolyte, I mean, it's master. fine, but it's not really. I, I, I really like developing the Gorehowl unless you really think that your opponent plays Harrison Jones. What about just slamming Geddon? Um, you haven't seen any executes or shields on. Strike! But eventually, you have to play the card anyway. It's gonna so be. Uh, maybe. Acolyte here to get rid of the last charge of the weapon. It's, it's alright. Oh, I don't like that though. Okay. I think I personally would have just Acolyte of Pain. Um, yeah, no, I, yeah, Acolyte of Pain and the Baron Gun. I think there's six. You got at least two cards and you develop the Baron Gun. Yeah, it's it's nice. I yeah. think so. Also, the sequence was a bit weird. Like, he armor up first. Yeah. So he wasn't sure about the play, but then he went along with it. That's a really good pickup, though, that Alex Strasa. Uh, having minions on the board when you play your Alex Strasa is really huge in this matchup yeah. uh, to be able to get that damage. You could, like, there's no real reason to play Alex Strasa before you get down the armor, but in this scenario, there's no real reason why you shouldn't. Maybe because you want to equip the Gorehal first and then 
go for some sort of OTK if you have <laughs> enough minions on the board. But welcome back to OTK. Well, he used the Taskmaster though. Yeah. So for Lothar, what's the play? I just uh, Baron Geddon decent here. Yeah, you I kill off the armor swift then Baron. I mean, Gedden. he's thinking probably about uh, the brawl as well, uh, but it like Baron Geddon is just straight up better, I think. Yeah, uh, I think you do uh, the same as like last time. I call it a pain of Baron Geddon. You you can't really uh, attack the armor smith though, in my opinion, because if your uh, Baron Geddon gets BGH, you have nothing for that. Yeah. So sure, you de deny like two armor here, uh, or three armor rather, but uh, I really think that uh, keeping the weapon for the BGH uh, that is most likely to come here uh, is a better play. But then like you have many on board and a simple execute can kill you, kill the Geddon. Kill the Geddon? Yeah, like if you leave Arkham's oh, yeah, yeah. on board. Uh, but uh, Baron Geddon is like... Uh, one of those cards you want to use like uh, the cheaper removal on, like not the the one that are used for to kill the big stuff like yeah, uh, Ragnaros and so when like shield slam you want yeah. to engage. Do you just like you you do PGH because it uh, develops for two, which is cool. Uh, Fire War Axe to kill There is one. there is another play here and that's yeah. Baron Geddon and Fire War Axe. Uh, you attack uh, and Baron Geddon. Uh, to clear the board. I think I like that better even. Yeah. Yeah. You, you keep the BGH for Dr. Yeah. Boom. Or There's more D BGH targets for sure. There's Alex Charles and Dr. Boom. Yeah. So even Grimash. Don't need to play it, yeah. And uh, 7 damage is nothing here. Wow, he's going for the Gore Howl. That's yeah. interesting. Uh, using another Death Master, like, you might not have a. I don't think you want to do that. Yeah, there's yeah. like. No, you can. You might, but you just. You can just burn get on next turn if you want yeah. to, but. I think it's weird that he didn't go for the Fireworks uh, Baron Geddon play because it develops a minion, threatens your opponent. On the other hand, like you want that gore hole equipped yeah. for when you Alexstrasza to follow up with uh, other big stuff. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Like even, yeah, just kill whatever. Right now, uh, if he plays Alexstrasza next turn, he will be able to play a Shield Maiden. Or like he will be able to play Savannah's and then Alexstrasza. And it also makes low pass turns all but if you have the gore hole off because Every minion you play would just probably die. Yeah, for sure. So I don't think you play anything here. Yeah. Like he's considering playing a naked Grimash, but I don't know about that. No. Like even the fact that he didn't kill uh, Acolyte is, is hurt, uh, hurtful for Lotha right now because yeah. denies him the draw. Yeah, yeah. he'll definitely have the cards. But that damage though. One damage. <laughs> 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 it might matter. They might. Armor up pass. That, and that's the thing about this matchup. Like sometimes you just have to. Ten, yeah. Ten, ten, you might not pass. want to. I don't really like Alex Straza that much in here. I, 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 like, just, I just like the get on here, yeah. Yeah. Like, honestly. Probably e even shield block too. So yeah, no better time than the present. So shield block first and then get him? Yeah. Yeah. Makes I'm sense. not sure what you can draw though. Maybe a Dr. Boom, boom and you attack. But no, he used Boom actually. Impact already played. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Used yeah, okay. Well, with those cards, you have to think. Like, because he can shield block Gaddon, he can Alex Straza. He's still like Ragnarok. Kill like the one well. one. I we haven't seen a Ragnar from either player so far. I wonder if both of them are playing it. Maybe Gaddon fired Ragnaros. That's. Mm. Whoa, and leave the Acolyte? Yeah, it sets up the exit. Oh, oh, Harrison Jones, bro. So Hard. both of them are playing that card. That's yeah, that's, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, this is a no brainer. Uh, getting that extra card now and, and executing that. This is a. Huge tempo swing here. Do you brawl? You should, you should actually draw first. Uh, do you brawl? I'm not I sure why he's do. playing. He like that one armor that he's getting for playing the armorsmith first is not worth the potential Apparently. other play that could be happening by cycling card first. Oh, extra so I have to be a dead card uh, right now, but I still like the ordering the, this way better. You can still play the armorsmith though. 
Uh, do you want to prank the brawl? <laughs> I'm not sure you need to play. I mean, armor speed always wins, you know. <laughs> yeah, that. Like, even though, like, uh, even though the the brawl is not that bad uh, with the Harrison Jones and um, and uh, armor smith this turn, but next turn if he wants Alex Strasser, then he has three minions on the board, including the the armor smith. So not playing it here is actually quite decent. Look at the fact: first and Reeves on average five million times a year. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I didn't notice that. Was, <laughs> <laughs> what did it say? That he breathes on the average five billion times a year. Uh, Somebody is counting your breaths, <laughs> man. <laughs> you better well, watch out. I think someone's stalking you. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> Alright, I like the get it. I like Axe Geddon. Geddon. Yeah. I like just Axe that Harrison like get Because you, you still develop the 75, which needs to be dealt with. Yeah. Apparently, Impact hates Geddon. Oh, oh this is Never special. get him, baby Rich. <laughs> <laughs> we want to see some more get in action. Come on. I just writing down his cards. Yeah, it is so important to know what what is left in your deck and what's left in your opposing deck. I don't think there are many cards left in deck. I think yeah. uh, it was hovered over and there's about seven cards left in both players' decks. Well, after Alex throws the health pools are equal, armor count as well. Yeah. Mm. And now it does fight. Mm. Well, I'm I'm sure we're gonna see the the BGH here. BGH get it? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. BGH. No, it's not getting. Ah, oh, you have so many. Oh, get it right again. No get it. Well, <laughs> the thing is, like, if you don't, if you just BGH, you just BGH armor up, I think. Yeah. I, mean, I don't think you want to play this on It's down. No. Empty board. Not an empty just board. Just gets no value. Yeah. And it probably just gets killed off. And you're not going anywhere. Like you don't have to be hasty. Yeah, it's worried. That, that's the thing. Like that's the a lot of uh, less experienced players uh, fall into the trap that I have to play cards. I have to advance my position. Where in fact, where was where you didn't have to. Just um, yeah. I've got just go to fatigue. <laughs> Yeah, you will be able to use all those cards eventually. Yeah. I must choose. And turn impact. Please impact. Why you do this? All right. So now back to Lothar. Sludge Vulture. Um. Into the four two. Everything dies to the death bite. Maybe Sludge Vulture, Armor Smith, Armor Up. Like, if yeah. you do that, you're getting some good armor. And, uh, and if, and you get if like Impact chooses to attack with the yeah, Death Bite, they can trade HH with Slime. Turns it to 4 1 and trade to you. Playing Sylvanas doesn't make any sense. Yeah, no. Like, you do maybe counter the G, but it doesn't matter. Value off the Sylvanas the 4 2. And it, you won't even get it since you'll probably trade it first. Yeah, he has to. Yeah, I'll trade in first and then go face with the weapon. Do you brawl? Do you brawl? <laughs> right now, you brawl. Like <laughs> 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 that would be such a baller move. <laughs> <laughs> so, is he not gonna play the armor smith here? He can't he can still play armor smith. Oh uh, yeah, I, th I think you play. Yeah, I think so too. Let's get another minion on the board. Some more armor. Oh, the is a Ragnaros. So what's the best way to deal with War now? Um, uh, well, do it, bro. God, I, j I just love bro. <laughs> <laughs> I would actually. Uh, run uh, the BJ into the Sludge Belcher, uh, equip Fire War Axe, and then play Baron Geddon. Interesting. Yeah. Well, um, do you va do you value the damage that much? The what? Like because uh, you equip Fire War Axe mm -hmm. only because you don't want to attack into Belcher. Yeah, I think, no, I think no, no, no. Really it's, it's not. It's not about the damage. It's about yeah. um, like you. You're not. You're getting value from your uh, 
from your uh, BGH. Otherwise, it just trades the slime because it will take one damage when yeah. you attack this Belcher. Well, the slime gets killed off anyway. But yeah, the 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 exactly. So you're gonna lose the weapon either way. Uh, yeah. You don't have to attack. Exactly. So I think that's, right. a, that's a good play. Makes sense. Let's see if he spots it or if he. First, Ooh, the Ragurino. He spots the Ragnaros! Wow, All he's right. gonna pass it. A lot of fire is going if to hit something. If it hits face, then... Oh, oh, that was a good play. Uh, he could, he could uh, shield slam it. Yeah, he could if he armors up. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Or just attacks with, like, the minions. Yeah. He, he played Ragnaros over Geddon. That Geddon is getting no love from Impact. Well, so we're gonna see a Rag steal here. For yeah. sure. Yep. Or... Do you want to brawl here? Well, and save the steal for another minion like Grimash. The problem with stealing Ragnaros is that when you steal it, it doesn't do that much impact on board, and you can get it stolen back. Yeah. So uh, you are losing your Savannah there. Problem with brawl is that it's a 50-50 still. Uh, yeah, but he he has more minions, so it's like you're more likely to have a positive outcome from this brawl. Uh, you have a slime and armor smith. He has a BGH and a rag. It's uh, it's way better for you. If one of your minions survives, then if yeah, also I'm, I'm force, always forcing those brawls because in this matchup you you always you end up with brawl as one of your last cards. Yeah, yeah. You it's really hard to get a good brawl off in off in this mirror, and I think this might be it. Uh, and if if the rag happens to survive, you just slam it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's going for it a bit too late. He might not be able to finish the shield slam animation. Yeah. If the oh survives, he can't my kill god. It. Oh, oh, sometimes lucky. Kid Kels, <laughs> thank you, bro. Armor Smith survived. Well, that was actually that, very dangerous. That could have ended really badly. Yeah. Well, I really want to see that get him, though. Yeah, it's been too long. Yeah. Was well, Impact surprised by second brawl? Um, or was he like, hey, bro? Well, I, don't, I don't see the difference, you know. Yeah. <laughs> His dead eyes right now is. It's like, bro, you brawled me second time, bro. Impact, I think Impact definitely thought about it since he did see it in yeah, the game before earlier. as well. Well, Impact still has card advantage here, and um, but they are really running out of cards. I think both players have a lot, around like five, six cards left. Uh, we still haven't seen Dr. Boom from Lothar. Yep. And I don't know if Lothar runs Ragnaros as well. He might not, like he's yeah. running double brawl. And he runs Harrison as well. Yeah. So, let's well, something else. Well, they're surely not running Lothar. Yeah. He just hates it, get him. Mm. Or maybe he's saving it for the last, like, we go in the fatigue, fatigue, and then he plays Gaden, and Lothar is like, oh, I guess I have no removal for this guy. Yeah. Well, that's an amazing turn. I would say that the shield maiden is pretty okay here. Uh, do you armor up or do you play the acolyte though? That is the question. I am not sure how many cards. He has five cards left. His opponent has four. He can't play. I don't think you want to draw anymore. Yeah. No, you don't really want to draw anymore, but. I think Akalad is that card, you never want to play it. You can, you, no, actually, it's, it's not that dead, because if you play it, uh, you can actually use it. Uh, if it is, doesn't get killed, you can use it to... For execute? Uh, yeah, for execute. Yeah. But, like, it's... I think it's too dangerous, because if you play Akalad now, um, your opponent can throw you a couple of cards, and then you end up with Yeah. Yeah, you can, like, cool toss them off for it. Yeah, something like Cruel Taskmaster attacks you made him with a weapon, then play Fire Works, and suddenly you draw two cards, and uh -huh. you still have Acolyte on board. So... I think... Is it time for Baron Geddon? Baron Attack Baron Geddon? Is it time? Yeah, I was thinking it. Rishi, oh. what time is it? Is it time for Baron Geddon? I'd say so, yeah. I would... It's time. Agree. it's time, gentlemen. It's time. Let's do it. the Gaden. Can impact no. spot the Gaden. He doesn't have a, a watch on his wrist. <laughs> Somebody please. You can steal the 5-5 with Savannas. You can. 
That's a pretty, pretty good play, bro. See if he does that, or if he finally plays that, get on. Finish crew list. Escape plus master. <laughs> Never so get on. But I, I don't really like this, because right now he will be kind of... Like, think about Grommash. I think this is the second Taskmaster. Yeah, this is the second Taskmaster he used. And the second Death Spite. So unless he's running Whirlwind. Maybe, maybe he doesn't want to damage the Grommash. Due to execute. Oh. Yeah, Nimsh has never grown a beard. That's a fact. Is it? Is it true though? What now? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Damn. So, what do you do here? Like, all of these plays are, <laughs> like, bad. awkward, yeah. If you Grom and attack in, it gets executed, because he's seen them. Uh -huh. You Taskmaster the 2-2, two -two and you execute it, <laughs> make a statement that you have still a lot of removal. Yeah, I mean, I think you can wait a few turns here, since you're, uh, you have the health advantage, is yeah. the armor up. Uh, armor up pass, yeah. I'm like I am not sure what he has left in his deck, so it's hard for us to make a decision here. He has three cards left, I think. Uh, he has to have Doctor Boom. Doctor Boom, Baron Geddon, maybe. Yeah. Oh, do we see a Baron? I'm not. Yeah, sure. we I, see Baron. I, after I don't. So, yeah. We yeah. see Baron from Lotharia. Still maybe, no Geddon. Maybe Rag as well. No, not sure. He countered his own Geddon by playing the Taskmaster. The thing in here is, is that uh, I don't think it's really that good to play Shield Maiden. Like, you might want to try to get uh, some brawl value uh, from just having your crew on the board. And he's still, it's like a hunter hero power every turn, you know? Yeah. Uh, your opponent is actually on the clock to play something first. Yeah. And he couldn't deal with the crew tax most of the last turn, so it's like. Not very likely they can next turn either. This is actually so interesting. Like, there go. Oh, Sebugu is so goal. bad! Yeah. He does play that, but that is not bad in this case, actually. Yeah, it could soak up. Yeah, it actually Death kills Spike. the cool Taskmaster for sure. Almost, mm -hmm. if he chooses to attack it. No, he it's not that great, so. I mean, he can execute. What? Like, he had to. Do you want to execute uh, the. She made it? She made it? I'm not sure. But since well, he has, since he has unstable goal, then he might have cut one of the higher end minions such as Ragnaros. Yeah, exactly. Wow, that would be really awkward. Well, I don't think he's playing Ragnaros. I think he's playing Doctor Boom. But why would yeah. you play uh, unstable ghoul if you know if you thought that your opponent would play the Green Patron though? Yeah. Uh, because he's running double brawl, so he was surely expecting Green Patron. Maybe it would just be a dead card that he would keep in his hand. If you play unstable ghoul first. Then they attack into it, they get more patrons, and yeah. then you brawl yeah. a bigger board. <laughs> that's, that's pretty that's smart. That's true. Silvana's coming down here. Uh, no steal this time around. Both minions probably just trade into it. Yeah, I would be very surprised if there was a gamble here. Yeah. And then we are going to see Geta! Doesn't want to do it now. I have no time for you. Oh, he gets through. That is actually completely okay, I guess. You yeah. force your opponent to use yeah. the... That's my charge. Yeah. Ooh, that though. Race for impact. Is it time? Race for impact. Race for impact. Race time to Grimash. Oh, whoa, 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 you can't do that. You cannot, absolutely not attack with uh, your shield man into that stable goal. M maybe he's thinking that there are not many minions left, so you have to use up some of your removal cards. Since you've got two executes and you've got a shield sum left. Um, yeah, but are you going to execute a Sylvanas? No, I think you can slam the one free and then just run your minions into Sylvanas and play Geddon and armor up. He, has, he still has like double execute and, uh, and a shield Double slam. shield sum. He has another one in I, 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 I like the attack with the uh, Death Spite and go face with the rest, actually. I have no time for games. Uh, uh, he's gonna uh -huh. uh, he's just stealing. Okay, okay, but the problem with this is that uh, it's damaged goods now. Yeah, it so has four health, it can get executed. Well, he, at, least, at least he knows the double brawl is out of the way. Yeah, the <laughs> double brawl. No one expects the third <laughs> brawl. Yeah. I'm still not sure about it, because I would prefer to have Sylvanas on board. 
-hmm. later, maybe. Not, 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 not like on this board. But on the other hand, he developed some kind of board, which is actually strong. So even if he executes Savannah's here. Yeah. Um, so Vars' hand's pretty dead. Can't play much. Maybe Taskmaster's the 2 1. Execute Taskmaster 2 1. Yeah. Armor up pass. I think playing Taskmaster makes sense. Yeah, since you've got two. But uh, it's it's pretty tough. Another has one more card, right? Or two yeah, more cards? Uh, I think they both have one. So I will be really surprised lost. if the last card for Lothar is not Doctor Boom. Yeah, I would be yeah. as well. Uh, I think Gannon still has a play. <laughs> I mean, do you learn by now, names? Never get them. Never get them. Never get them, baby rage. <laughs> I do like. Uh, I do like to get on here. Uh, like you just see, you, you've just seen that uh, Shield Maiden is a problem. Yeah. Like he, he wasn't able to deal with Shield Maiden, so you just go face, and you definitely so want to keep it. So there's two, there's two cards left. Race for two so cards. Okay. So one will be the blue one. For you. I'm not sure. What the other one will be. Do you want to start attacking here with your weapons? And no. I mean, you can't attack with yeah. the the death spike of core, but I mean, like. If the if the shield man gets cleared next turn, you might wanna you might wanna start attacking here. You have a lot of damage, like twelve damage in the hand plus four equipped. Yeah, I think you you actually can. Come on, play that Gannon. Yes, yes. I think, I think this will end up uh, on two players on the card. Yeah, right now both players can't kill the. the oh, there is a BGH. Yeah. So. Doctor Boom, in so fact, Dr. is the last, is card. last card. So I, what what do you like to do here? Well, you do kill both, but then BGH Taskmaster. BGH Taskmaster. Do you, do you do the Taskmaster play though? Would you like Gromash into the five one? Yeah, it doesn't seem very. No, 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 no. I mean, uh, just like if if I mean. He has a death spite with yeah, one charge so left, so it's gonna. The yeah, so it's gonna trade for uh, the BJ. It's gonna trade for uh, the five one. Uh, it all depends on what your last card is. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's Doctor sure Boom. I'm pretty sure it's Boom. It's such a good card. You cannot cut Boom from no. any warrior. Yeah, I think Forsen, you're right. Like just BGH armor up is is enough. Yeah, you have to conserve your cards. Yeah. Fight. Yeah, like, oh, fight. shit's damn it. Okay. You also save the... Uh, I, I think that's fine play, actually. Uh, I mean, you, you know your opponent has a uh, Grimosh in his hand, so... You can always save, and that's the last threat, most likely, that he has. Yeah. Unless... So, Impact just... Impact just one damage. It didn't... It didn't cool it now? That's really weird to me. He used to so five more damage. This last card has to be the boom. Yep. Yeah, yeah okay. but this is so weird because yeah. if he knew that he, it was last card was Doctor Boom, he wanted to cool Taskmaster that for sure because uh, that would force an attack from uh, from from the death bite, and then he wouldn't have a whirlwind effect or for execute and clearing the bombs. Yeah. yeah. That was so weird. <laughs> Oh, he's not cool. Okay. Yeah, you're just saving it for the ground, but... That, that is weird, because you know that your opponent has not played a single execute in this game. Yeah. yeah so he knows he has two executes, yeah. so you can deal with both your threats. You want, you want to have a naked Grimash on the, on, on the, on the board, yeah, not, not, not a not enraged one. Well, he will only Grimash at the moment when he thinks he can win the game. You, you brawl here, right? Attack for five and brawl. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. I mean, he, he's gonna die anyway, so you might as well save some possible life. Uh, you will be still able like to you, shoot you, you know he has a Grimoire left, you're not completely sure if he has any other strange tech uh, in uh, greedy cards like Ysera, so keeping both these uh, executes here are quite valuable. I mean, he has the Shield Slam as well, so he has a ton of options here. I 
I'm pretty sure he can't lose this game. Yeah, I'm gonna I be honest. I, I like the brawl. I don't like <laughs> using Death Spy. On the other hand, like you want to use this fireworks. Right? And then when he plays the naked Grimash, then the only way to clear it is to task smash that BGH, and then you use the task smash. Wait, he's using shield slam. Okay. Interesting. I kind of liked using maybe Death Spy because then you can use those fireworks, and you still have shield slam to possibly. Um, and Rage Grimash. Yeah, for sure. So, this is just an armor past turn. Yeah. I, mean, I think the game's over. Uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty over here. Because he's behind on the fatigue race, and uh, both of them have removals for the Grimoche, which is the last uh, big minion. And there's uh, 12 damage from weapons in the yeah. impact's hand. So you armor pass and then impact next turn just you play. Atta attacks face and then plays Grimoche not uh, damaged and armors up and forces the full task map to the BGH out. Delta is going for the Grimash. Oh, then he can get the value off the board. Yeah. Three for the damage. <laughs> you want to use those works, it's like you, you don't have that many turns, right? Yeah, I think you have Yeah, to you have to you start attacking, attacking now. Yeah. And then put them. And the Grom. Out. So if you play Grom now, and if you go for face, Then it then then forces the Taskmaster to be huge. So you go for face first, and then you attack with the Grom for four. Yeah. It yeah. forces Taskmaster to be GH, and, and then, then you most likely brawl. And you have to brawl. the minion. All right, all right. So you can still deal with the minion. And then the, the Grom that comes out, you'll just axe that and execute that as yeah. well. The problem is then that you're losing on race. Aren't you? Because you're never at you attack with your ground for four only. Yeah, but now now you get eight more damage in, so you should be yeah. ahead, and you've got all the weapons. You have twelve damage in hand, four equipped, uh, four uh, with the Grimash in hand as well. So that's a that's a lot of damage. But he has to make a decision now, and he refuses to play anything. Hero power pass. Classic. This, this Boomer's getting him one damage, and that might matter in the long run. Yeah, now at this point, every damage matters. Yeah. This the game is still undecided, actually. <laughs> Lothar is doing the counting. Like, you do have to count every damage now. I don't think Impact's figured out all the cards that Lothar has in his hand, or else he would have just done the play in the instant. Oh, man. This is so difficult right now. Counting fatigue damage, he's making sure you don't want to lose a long game like this because you screwed up the counting uh, of fatigue. It's really demoralizing. Yeah. You knew you could have won, but. Absolutely. It'll probably affect you in the first Four game. fatigue damage. Yeah, Impact is taking a lot of damage here. Next turn, be fine. I think you have to do, uh, start attacking I mean, right now. Yeah, you yeah. won't have enough turns to use up all your, your, your axe charges. I'm surprised yeah, he didn't do anything last turn because if yeah. you count it properly, you know that if you if you're just passing every turn, you're gonna lose the fatigue race. Yeah, and even if Lovell plays a load of minions, you're brawl done. And you have the double execute. Like impact is running out of time right now. If he doesn't make a move, he's just going to lose this. But it is weird because like it, it's counterintuitive to just attack first and then play Grimash. Uh, I think he has to realize he has to attack. Now he's missed out one turn of damage. Yeah. Yeah, and got like one more damage from the bomb. He might not even attack. He might not even to. have time to attack with all those fireworks. Yeah. What it hits for. He might not be able to play Grom and attack with it. He's still, because he's of still the thinking. Oh my god. Does he have time? No. Yeah, yeah. No. 
That did not just happen. This, stuff. this keeps happening against Lothar. We saw Lesh doing the same mistake, not attacking with uh, Dr. Broom. Because he was sure. roping. Like, this is actually huge. Yeah, that 4 damage might actually decide wow. this, this match. Well, Impact is not going to be pleased if he loses this game. And, and this is such an important By game the looks well. of it, I mean... So I he's going to take 5 points of damage? Yeah. Or six. Five. Five. He took four from that bomb, like... So now, now you brawl. Uh, I hope the 2-2 two -two survives because you don't want to take more damage. Yeah. How, but how do you clear the Grom, though? Uh, you just axe it and then you, execute it. Yeah, but you actually lost this game here. Yeah, I think you have because you, have to, you take eight it, from the Yeah, you take eight. Oh, and there you take four. Oh, that's a lot of force that he's going to take. Wait. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. It's really hard to make a map if you're so tired after partying with force until the morning. Yeah. Math is not. Uh, okay, so I, I think. Yeah, this is for sure a game for Lothar. Like, I, I, I'm doing no math at the moment. I'm just chillaxing watching this fun <laughs> <Yeah>. game <laughs> come to an end. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's, he actually lost this game. Yeah, he wow. did. Wow, uh, I can't believe it. He waited too long. I actually can't believe it. Four damage from the bomb. Yeah, this that was this quite insane, yeah. right? Yeah. But one turn too long, missing attack with that grimage. Yeah. I really crucial. He probably, I'm, I'm sure he would have just won if he... Wow, Lothar wants a break after that game, and I can't blame him, really. Uh, yeah, definitely a really tiring game. Impact you have to looks your quite out. tilted. Yeah. After that, but you oh know... Man. I, have, I have nothing to say. Like, to start of the day, uh, we are going to play all the matches today. The whole top eight, and to start with Warrior versus Warrior, such a crushing game. Yeah. I was um, that woke me up a bit, and uh, even though kind that of woke you up, <laughs> <laughs> that was a strange effect. Yeah, yeah. so he's, he's on a bathroom break right now, uh, coming back soon. But yeah, so now uh, that impact, I mean that Lothar won with his warrior, he has to feel really, really good about that, yeah. considering the druid and the the Sue lock remaining for impact. Yeah. Um, so Lothar, <coughs> Lothar still has that freeze mage and. Um, and it, might it, it might be Mech Mage. It might be Mech Mage. It might be Mech Mage. might even be Temple Mage, who knows, mm. but... Lothar was playing Freeze Mage before. Yeah. yeah. I think he also played Mech Mage. I'm not sure. Did he? That. Did he? I, I think I remember him playing... Oh, well, if he's, Shaman? if he's running Face Hunter, Face Hunter has a good matchup versus Druid, and uh, versus Zoo, it's all right. I think it's slightly... a slight advantage. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then if it's, it's <coughs> a, if it's a Freeze Mage, then versus Zoo should be all right. And versus Druid, it's like... It's 50-50, I would 50-50, yeah, it's going to flip. Really? Because of Emperor. Oh, yeah, I mean, Emperor has surely turned that match around a bit, but like 50 feet. I still think it's slightly Druid favored, actually. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, but the Warrior, if it is a Freeze Mage, the Warrior just gets a free one. Yeah, he hits it does. Up. It does for sure. So I thought I saw Lothar pass there, didn't he? Or was that someone else? So. Okay. Someone else. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Alright guys, so how are you enjoying the event? First and first. How am I enjoying the event? Yeah. It's good. It's it's uh Do you have a lot of fun? <laughs> what? Do you have a lot of fun? Yeah, for sure. How do you enjoy casting <laughs> by the way? Like there is a, a lot of Forsen boys that come to me and they, they say, hey, like Forsen is not a hobo anymore. <laughs> he's looking good and he's casting now. What's ha what's happening? Yeah, well, you got to represent, you know, your employer, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> All right. No, it's just a way of showing respect, you know. And also it was getting quite warm. So uh, a shorter haircut was kind of nice, you know. There's also cool. no hoodie, you know. Yeah. So. All right, Green Sheep, how are you, how are you doing, man? I'm um, doing great. Enjoying okay, the event so, so far. Impact uh, taking a nap here. Lothar trying to wake me up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Impact is <laughs> ready to go. Uh, uh. <laughs> he is all good, guys. He's a bit out of he it. He just woke uh, up. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. Ima imagine like spending the whole night having fun, uh, being out, and then you just come in yeah. here early and play Warrior vs. Warrior. I don't think it was the best decision for him to follow me through the night. <laughs> Mistakes were made. <laughs> Mistakes were made indeed, <laughs> as they were in that Warrior game. But, you know, Impact still has a shot at winning this. Uh, it's not over until it's over. There's the face hunter from Lothar against the Druid. Uh, do you think that this matchup is uh, better for um, Hunter than versus Sulok? I personally favor it for the face hunter, but a lot of people are saying that it should be a 50 50 matchup mm -hmm. because of uh, the taunts and um, the heal from the druid, and especially if you have like the wild growth of the innovate starts, which just blow out the match. And yeah, with yeah, but to Zulok, I think it's uh, it's pretty similar. It, it really depends on uh, how the how the game turns. Uh, like against Zulok, you need the uh, explosive trap, you need unleash the hounds, uh, and it's very fast paced in the beginning. And against druid, it's all about like, can he really stop you with with um, yeah, it keeper? It's mostly about uh, the druid's answers in yeah. this matchup uh, than your own curve, really. Like. Sure, it helps if you have uh, like uh, Leper Gnome at Scientist into Animal Companion, but if he has the correct answers like Swipe, uh, then like you're screwed anyway. And Impact also does run the Sludge Belchers instead of the Azo Drakes, which helped the matchup a lot. So he runs uh, two Sludge Belchers? Two, two Sludge Belchers. Okay, so that's uh, pretty good indeed. And he also uh, has the Innovate. It's a pretty it's a pretty good hand for, for Impact. Like He has Wrath Fortune too, he can... Um, Druid of the Claw on free, and then on four play, and then Pilot Shredder. It's like stop early aggression, and and then start building up the board. So there was no one drop for Lothar. Yeah, that's that's really bad for Lothar. Yeah, that like when I didn't see the Mulligans. Did he Mulligan everything for a one drop? I I think he kept the Haunted Creeper. Yeah, I don't it. think you you keep Haunted Creeper actually. Yeah. There's other cards like Mad Scientist, Knife Jugglers. You can get as a I two drop, and you got everything for the one drop. Right? Yeah, definitely, if you're not on the coin, it's better. Yeah. So he's actually thinking about going to innovate uh, the Shredder here. Yeah. But I don't think that's uh, the correct play. I think you want to coin innovate out uh, the Dude of the Claw and then play like yeah. Wrath into Shredder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you have too many dead turns if you play the Shredder off the bat. Uh huh. I also like wh wh if you play Shredder turn one, if there is an Iron RNG Dao. It, it, it will really hurt you. We see some mind games there. He's like uh, trying to drop each of the haunted creeper, making him think that there is should actually two. Yeah, knife creeper? juggler. Uh, like. So it's, it's more about knife juggler or creeper. Yeah, because like yeah, yeah. You, yeah. That's like this would have been played no matter what. Yeah, that's like yeah. the first priority when you want to play a two drop. <laughs> All right, so there is a small spider. Um, well, you do not draft this. I think you either play the Shredder or the Druid of the Claw. I'm not sure which one I like. I better. think I like Shapeshift Face. And uh, next turn, play Torison. That's what you can do. I like yeah. that as well. Yeah. Because you get a lot of value off the forest. Yeah, the you get order. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 mana from uh, innovating out and coining the Thor's the Russian. Oh, it's a hoffer oh. though. That is... That changes things completely. Yeah, for sure. I, nope. think you ha I think you definitely have to wrath this or you're taking... Yeah. Like, it's not the end of the world to wrath this because uh, you can still innovate out the uh, Russian next turn and... Uh, but your curve is gonna you down. Yeah, but your curve is going to be pretty good after that. You could even... Coin... You could even play the Russian now, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still fine with uh, playing uh, Emperor. If you do that, then uh, let's see. You force if he trades, then it's like playing a taunt that gives you mana. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, if he doesn't trade, then you can Wrath for one next turn and play a lot of stuff. And uh, you're still at pretty high health pool right now. So I, I actually like uh, Innovate Coin uh, the Russian here. Yeah, that is true. Emperor Torison changes how we think about the game. And, and it, it, he needs to kill it or he needs to have a silence for yeah. it. And uh, silencing something that isn't a taunt isn't great. Exactly. It's still a 5 5. But he's going to go for the Wrath. I would like to say safer play, but I am not sure if it is the safer play. Like, uh, I'm not that sure. Right it now. seems like he's thinking about Shredder still. Yeah, I, I I mean, like Shredder. He has a good curve, but. Uh, I think the Russian would have. 
given him a lot of value. Yeah. Like, Thorsten is one of those cards that really helped this match, uh, in this matchup um, against Hunter. Because it is a card you can't really ignore as a face hunter. And then it will help you. It, it increases the quality of your plays so much. Like, one of the problems Ruin has in this matchup is that you play one big minion every turn. Yeah. And Hunter is, is able to just bypass it or ignore it. But with Torisan being on board, like, A, you can't ignore it. And if you do, then, like, Druid is able to play more minions, more spells every turn. So, we see a wild growth pick up. Uh, it was actually quite okay. Yeah, it's okay. Because you can play the Russian next turn into Ragnos part 7 because of the reduction. And Ragnos is another great card versus Space Hunter. Yeah, not so much when you have two Hunted Creeper on the board, but it's True. still nice to get out there, especially if you can follow that up with a Druid of the Claw Taunt. Yeah, it's one of those cards that uh, doesn't uh, that ignores the secrets. You go home, those are really good pickup. Yeah, you don't really want to ramp the, your the Druid here because he would have been able to play an Ancient of Lore, for example, if he had that in his hand. So right now, Lothar possibly has 15 points of damage in his hand, right? It's like eight plus five, eight, ten, fifteen with your power. Yeah. Exactly. It seems really bad for for impact, especially because there is this Iron Vigal for the only taunt he has. I'm pretty sure uh, you're gonna want to, unless you pick up something useful, uh, go with the double Arcing Golem next turn. Because uh, you will have lethal turn off that. Hero powers, yeah, if you can come out. Yeah. Before he gets a taunt, you really want to get that Arcane Golem done. Yeah. If you double Arcane Golem, then the turn after you can uh, play all your hand. You can play the Owl, the Kill, Kill Command, Command and Hero Power. Power. Yeah. So it's really mana efficient. This is actually so crazy because with double Arcane Golem, you can deal 13 points of damage, leaving traded 4. Even if you use Ancient of Lord, it will be 9. And you have like double Arcane on board that needs to be traded. You can deal two damage with spiders and kill command. It's like certain lethal. Double arcing. Unless there's, unless there's. Uh... No wait, like you give him two mana, so he can always shape shift. So you will be one off. I mean, there's a lot of possibilities because of the 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 Russian and the reduction in mana cost yeah. uh, that you he's, have to he's consider. He's down nine damage here, and it's not that impossible to do another level. Yeah. You just need. Um, Hey. I think you go for uh, uh, kill command hero power here, actually. Seven damage, hit him for five. Next turn you can owl, uh, owl, hero, owl hero power and orc golem. golem. Yeah, I like it. And he's gonna go for it. No, he's actually gonna ramp him up to eight. And uh, that is pretty risky indeed. Yeah, but along with the mana reduction, a lot of power. Yeah, so uh, what are we staring down here? Uh, up. We're staring at a kill. Um, like, whatever impact does, Lothar has the RMB goes through. Can't no. heal. No, no, no. He can actually Wrath, cycle for one, and heal. But he can only heal to eight, so it's not enough, right? Yeah. Uh, it's uh, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's ex exactly eight damage. Uh, if he Wraths for one and draws Savage Raw, would it be enough? Six, uh, ten. Because you can play the Druid yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight, as well. Uh, 17. Eight. No, not enough. 16, 21. Oh no, wait, wait. Well, yeah, we're going to the cards and we on. He's going he's gonna to go for it. Alright, Savage Roar is a kill. Oh. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah. Savage Roar would have been good so there. You, you are pretty much dead here. Uh, unless you draw something from the Shredder. You need to sacrifice the Shredder. There is a possibility of drawing into Vitality Totem, totem or another Taunt. Yeah, but that would just get silenced. No, no, no. You have two Taunts. Oh, yeah. Two Taunts. Nope. Well played. So Lothar is going to take game number two and extend his lead over Impact 2 to 0. A super long game, Warrior vs. Warrior. A super short game, Hunter. And next, next uh, we're probably going to see a pretty long game. Uh, Free Smith versus Warrior. I can see. So Impact is going to have to all win with all the stacks again the mage, which we don't know if it's freeze or mech mage yet. Yeah, so Lothar just needs to win one game with his mage. Predictions? 
Freeze Mage, Tempo Mage, Mac Mage? If it's uh, in fact Freeze Mage, then it can be. It, it should be done because it beats the Sue Lock uh, at least. That's for sure. With the with the right combination of cards. Uh, Impact actually rolled the die, by the way, so it might not be Warrior. He rolled the die. What to play against the f that mage? Uh, that's okay. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter. He, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Uh, he reckoned. I still have to beat him with my other decks yeah, if I want to win. Yeah, so really just I like the fact that he's not starting with warrior just to make sure. Okay, well, he got he's that. Still good warrior. <laughs> I guess uh, the dice roll got him the warrior. I, I think <laughs> actually, I think he is like. Yeah, I don't know. What I, is I don't, this I don't see deck? why you would even roll the dice when your opponent <laughs> has one deck left. It, you can't even mind game it. Yeah, like. Do it for show. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Maybe he just likes rolling dice. We have a pretty good start from Lothar, uh, considering the matchup. Uh, but it's still a ha very hard matchup. Well, Torison might change it a bit, right? Like, you just need that Antonidas. You need Antonidas in your hand, he yeah. He even has the coin, so it's actually perfect. <laughs> Aqua the Fane is also nice. Yeah, it's very nice that uh, he didn't coin out Mad Scientist, even though he had Mad Scientist follow up and uh, Arcane Intellect. Because if he had a Fire War Axe the next turn, he would not sacrifice his armor, he would just sacrifice health, which is pretty much useless anyway. So just waiting one turn, letting him armor up one turn, uh, really makes a difference, you know. So now, can Impact be sure that this is a free match now? Um, uh, yeah, he well, gets pretty sure it's a free match by now. I mean, you still have the coin and you waited one turn with the Mad Scientist, then it's most likely gonna be a free match. Yeah, true. The coin gives it away. Yeah. Without the coin, it can be possible that you have a really awkward opening yeah. with Mech Mage. But with the coin, you surely just coin Mad Scientist yeah. and then play whatever. So. Uh, you need Antonidas. I, I kind of like the, the Arcane Intellect here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, more than the Acolyte Point Ping. And Loot Hoarder is not really a good play because of the Whirlwind Effect of Death Spite, So You definitely want to keep that coin. There is some merit to uh, to not Arcane Intellecting here. Uh, because you want to you don't want to draw into your secret when that Mad Scientist, the mad scientist is, is on, yeah. yeah. Well, again, while but I mean, I think it's a risk you're willing to take. There, are, there are uh, three more secrets in the deck, and you just you're at like 24, 24 23 cards left in the deck, so you should be fine. Oh, so it's actually just okay. I, I'm not sure. I guess it's all right. Uh, not just playing a naked act like no ping there, but uh, the problem is that the mad scientist. Oh yeah, so it it will die now. Right. I feel like it was needed to, to do that, kill it. To kill Mad Scientist? Yeah, immediately. I mean, you're just, he, you don't ha you didn't have any armor, I guess. I guess you you don't want the armor yeah. to get chipped off. What about just playing Belcher there, instead of just armor up and uh, Dust Master? Just leave the Scientist to, to attack into Belcher. Uh, I, I guess he didn't want to give more card draws to the... The uh, mage then needed uh, loot order coming down, contesting this taskmaster. The Russian is actually gonna like decrease for a lot of burn, but you don't really want to decrease burn. You want to like uh, decrease the, the frost. Okay, frost is burn, but I mean the the valuable um, uh, burn, like Iceland's frostbolt at the True, yeah. The pyroblast like. It's almost never that the Pyroblast reduction is like useful. Uh, it's when you have yeah. also a Frostbolt, like you can play that and uh, Pyroblast in turn 10. Uh, and Armor Frost Nova, not, not really good for Lothar here. Oh, is a nice one. Yeah, but it's still like his hand is... I mean, I... Uh, Pretty sure you play it. Yeah, you get I nine, mean, you get eight mana reductions since the coin. Yeah. Goes. Yeah. Well, and it's a five-five board as well. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. it. You still have the coin, so you're gonna get an extra fireball from Antonidas when you choose to. Uh. Hmm. Is he is he waiting for Antonidas? Yeah. 
Yeah, I think he wants to get. I think he. I think he uh, realized the fact that it, this is a very very hard matchup mm -hmm. without getting that uh, Antonidas reduction uh, and getting like four or five volts. I, I think I'm okay with Berserk here because. Yeah, I think it's fine. You know, yeah. the, the warrior is not going to, to bring that many Ooh, minions. Ooh, Smith's a really good drill. Yeah, but do you want to play it before Dr. Boom, though? Um, I think you just play out all the minions, so uh, AoE will give you more mana. Mm -hmm. But He's debating whether yeah. to armor up. I, I think the armor smith is, no, is better. Yeah, you get free armor. If you flame strikes. Yeah, and then your pouch is still survives. But he chooses to pass. Well, on the other hand, it's just playing into the flame strike, so he will lose the armor smith. Here, yeah. uh, this is a board that you can still possibly flame strike. You Acolyte. can't play the acolyte here. Yeah, you will overdraw. I like. No upstairs. How much to do this turn? You have to, you have to clear the board so I just freeze it. Flame Strike doesn't really accomplish much. It kills one. Uh, I mean, I guess it basically prevents five damage. So are we finally gonna see Doctor Boom? <sighs> Easy question. Or oh, does he just want to continue armoring up every single turn? Because that's a the way to win. Just to get so much armor that there's no chance of killing you ever. Uh, I mean, if you do get that Antonidas with Ice Lenses and you get like 4 to 5 Fireballs, that's a lot of damage. Yeah. So you don't want to play too passively, I think. Yeah. Also, Impact is um, running low on cards right now. Also, attack phase. I guess it's okay. He could actually get like uh, like six fireballs if he if he gets Antonidas and a frostbolt. Yeah. Like it's insane how many fireballs you can get since that point. And the impact doesn't have that much armor yet. Ooh. Oh! Wow! Speak of the devil. Oh Crazy. man! So I think that this is the time to play Tori Sun. Yeah, and ping is like it's, yeah, it's so good here. You're, you were waiting for that. And then the Andonidas could have been the last card as Dr. Boom um, in the war match. But now you have everything, almost. Yeah. Getting those Frost Nova. Th there's a problem, though, and that's the fact that you don't have a Frostbolt as well. That's a really good card to get. Uh, but it's not a problem because if you happen to pick up a Frostbolt, uh, you can still play that together with a Fireball because you have the coin and an Ice Lens. 11 mana. Yeah, true. So you can pick up a lot. It should be Just play a load of minions so you can get Yeah. Oh, uh, he will have. Hmm. Actually, using that Iceland, he would love to have that Frostbolt, right? But if he uses Iceland, he can ensure, after seeing the shield slam, you can ensure that Antonai survives. Not really. There's still executes. Yeah, but like, look at this. Um, if Impact plays Dr. Boom, yeah, and then there is Antonidas. <laughs> then he Frost Nova's and Iceland's face. Iceland's face. Yeah. There's no way of killing the Antonidas. Uh, there is, uh, in theory, he can have a Cruel Taskmaster, second Cruel Taskmaster. Yeah, but he has to talk Oh, back. man, there is like Straza. Oh. Wow. Is Lothar going to win Majors and Warrior? I think he might he have might a chance. Possible. He, he has all no. the cards. Ooh, that was a really good top deck though. Getting that second armor smith for that extra, extra armor buff. That was... He can't be happy about that. It, at least there's no death spy to get the, the whirlwind. Yeah, exactly. Just gets and also, he has two Frost Novas here. Yeah, so he has And two that's gonna be key to, to uh, paralyze his opponent from gaining armor. The second oh. ice is also great. You get so many fireballs. I yeah. think you go for it, right? Like if you go Antonidas, you get Antonidas, Antonidas Frost, Nova. Frost Nova, and you still have like three more mana, so you can go do anything, <laughs> even fireball his face. If you want. I mean, you, do you want to start uh, removing the armor though first, uh, and wait for a uh, frostbolt? So you just fireball his face. 
I, I would say, uh, yeah. I mean, it's like if this Antoninus dies and you use the Ice Lenses here uh, without Frostbolt, that, that lost damage, it might actually make the difference. I like uh, Antoninus because if you freeze everything yeah. and use those Novas, you can also attack with Antoninus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you have to remove the slime, of course, but. Uh, yeah. And that's gonna give him two armor if you're attacking into that, but. Basically, like, you are just thinking about can he whirlwind execute my. Uh, uh, or crew taskmaster, uh, my Antonidas, if I freeze face and board. And. It, he can in theory, but he can't right now because it does not have. He can actually play Groom and Excuse. Oh, wow. He used the second Frost Nova. I... Wait, what? He used, he used the second, second Frost Nova for no reason. Oh. I don't agree with that at all. Definitely not. You have enough fireballs. You, you don't need an extra fireball. I'd rather have the, the second Frost Nova in case you just take like a Doom Sayer to kill off the armor smiths and they gain no armor. Yeah, so here uh, he needs to play the Groom Marsh and Execute. No armor up this turn, but he got two armor from attacking there because of the two armor smiths. Now all, now this whole board can attack since so there's no freeze. Oh, oh, there's blizzard, but yeah, you, you can't, can't blizzard, you can blizzard. You can't because he blizzard. gets 12 armor? You just yeah. have to start fireballing face, and that's it. That's the only thing you can do. You have to get him. Fire, you do fireball, fireball, fireball this turn. Uh, yeah. And then next turn, damage. fireball, fireball, ping. So 18, 31. Yeah. Between the two turns, he has... And he can armor up as well. Wow, this is really close. Yeah, it is. Because he used the Frozen Nova. It's exact lethal, actually, because he only gets Unless armor. he gets something yeah. that gives him armor. If you would, if you would not use the Frozen Nova, that would be such an amazing Fireball, Fireball, Frozen Nova this turn. So yeah, I mean, unless he top takes something here that can bring him back, give him one point of extra armor. And we're win. Must be like... Execute, Execute is not it. Is not it. I mean, over. yeah, it's actually over. He's oh, actually wow. winning. What about Shield Maiden? Gotcha. Shield Maiden? Shield Maiden would have done it, but yeah, of course. Right. Every, any, every, any what game one like life, even deal a one damage, cool cool taskmaster. Yeah, cool taskmaster. Wait, like he exactly this is over right now. Like he exactly has 13. He knows that. Yeah. Lothar actually wins versus Impact three to zero. Freeze Mage versus Warrior. We've seen it here. We've seen it live. Yeah, that was kind of crazy, actually. Uh, the only way a freeze mage can win is with that Antonidas uh, reduction Torison. Yeah, combo. Uh, so whenever we say, like, all right, Warrior doesn't have 100% versus freeze mage, and yeah. if you doubt us, go watch Lothar versus Impact. <laughs> because that, that was that's quite crazy. How many fireballs did he have? I'm not sure. I'm having eight or nine at least. Too many. Yeah. Too many. Too many. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Greenshoe, thank you so much for joining us. That was a pleasure, man. And uh, we're going to talk to Lothar now and, uh, and ask, like, yep. how do you win Freeze Mage versus Warrior? And <laughs> how do you win a Warrior versus Warrior when you're yeah. going from behind? Lothar. Lothar. Lothar, come on. Join us, man. All right, Lothar. Congrats, man. Congratulations. How do you feel right, how do you feel right now? Uh, excuse me. Like How do you feel right now? Great, but I, that first Nova, that's, that last one. Let's oh. let's not talk about <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah. I face palm. Your excuse, man. I face palm in my mind like so hard. I, ah. just, you know, I left my mark on your my head. your hand went through your head and yeah, I mean, yeah exactly. I think Impact made uh, some really crucial mistakes as well. I mean, in, in the, the Warrior Mirror, for example. Oh. When yeah, he missed damage with Grimage yeah. and he, he he waited too long to attack in the fatigue wars, he would have won that game. Not crucial, impactful mistakes. Impactful <laughs> names with the <laughs> cast of jokes. Um, Lothar, you you weren't like you started the day with Warrior versus Warrior. Did you expect this kind of Warrior from Impact? Yeah, I thought he might change, but I was prepared anyway for Grim Patch because with Double Brawl again. Yeah, yeah, I played with Double Brawl again. Uh, that wasn't the case yesterday. Um, I felt like if this is the warrior mirror, if I will not get a decent hand, I won't win anyway. And as you know, my m warrior mirrors are kind of lackluster when it comes to performance from my side. Well, apparently you practice overnight because yeah, you just yeah, won course, a very yeah. gritty match. Uh, yeah. But I, I think I made a mistake too when there was the fatigue war. I should have just gone almost instantly with the Gromesh face 
and I waited too long because I gave him the advantage of putting the pressure on me, and he, he actually didn't take the advantage. Was but that was that? Okay? I don't think that's the case actually. I, I, you had you had a bomb right out. Yeah, I had the bomb. Yeah, that was that was okay. Yeah. But then uh, he attacked, killed the bomb, and didn't play anything. Right? That was the no, case? he played, no, the he played Grimash, Grimash, but oh, he didn't. Oh, okay, time never to mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, think, I think you... Like so you, you, you played it okay in the Fatigue Wars. Yeah. Impact did sadly not. But, you know, that's what happens sometimes when uh, the Pressure. game goes so long, you know, and you're, yeah. you're hangover and, like, the you have to count Fatigue the last damage. Night. And, you know, it ain't easy, you know. But it, it actually shows, like, so Impact had fun um, with you. Uh -huh. And Lothar, you went like practicing, and you spent the night like really. I actually just for went match. to bed and slept. Well, like I played one CS:GO match. Apparently, oh, so that you was a good CS:GO, right? All right, it's good decision. Uh, yeah, I think so. Going to sleep, yeah. Any well, words about uh, the the fact that Impact said that he would 3-0 you quite oh. easily? Oh well, that was a reverse switch from my part. Yeah. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Yeah, that was um, all right. That, that the panel was okay. Let's <laughs> say. <laughs> so like free speech versus warrior, that was really surprising. Well, there's only one way to win that match, and yeah. I actually got it. So thumbs up. E I was e thinking e about how Morley gunning for emperor, but uh -huh. but if mad scientist just increases the chances to of getting the emperor the yes. same amount yes. as how Morley. I think you played that so really good. Like you didn't coin out the mad scientist, even though you had a mad scientist follow up on uh, mm -hmm. and uh, an Arcan intellect follow up after that. I, I had too many card draw to be honest. Yeah, Th that's why I played the acolyte to bait out the attack into the acolyte because I knew I won't be m just needing cards. needing the cards. Yeah. I will be exactly. at nine, ten cards, and I. I I can't afford to burn Antonidas like yesterday. That was retarded. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I just played to minimalize uh, the card roller. Yeah. Also, you played your Baron Geddon much earlier than Impact. Never Geddon, baby. Rich. Never Geddon, yeah. The Geddon is kind of like MVP in other matches, but in the Warrior Mirror is just awful. I think it's just awful. What about Unstable Ghoul? Like, you still play the card. Yeah, we were wondering yeah. about that. Why? Uh, I'm. You played double brawl and unstable ghoul. If you if you thought yeah, he was gonna play green patron, like unstable ghoul is really bad versus that. Yeah, but the same is for whirlwind. So I was yeah. either playing whirlwind or unstable ghoul, and I thought that if I play whirlwind, then it's the same shit. It it is not it's actually versus the same shit versus green patron because you can decide when you want that whirlwind effect to go off. I uh, probably will never play that uh, anyway in green patron. Because there's like Froding Berserkers yeah, and, uh, and yeah. Green Patrons. So if there's a, a threat on the board, the Warren will be useless anyway. And I thought to myself, so why would I play Warren when I can unstable go? Uh, when I can Whirlwind play executes are like uh, pretty okay. Uh, well, wor whirlwind uh, Baron Geddon. When you play against Green Patron, you don't need anything for your executes. They will always be damaged. Yeah. So that's not All the right, case. So you still had... Green Patron in mind when you played Unstable Ghoul? Y no, no, no. Uh, I played the Unstable Ghoul because I thought to myself, if he switches to more aggro, okay. then yeah, Unstable Ghoul is way right. better. And mm -hmm. also, it kinda, uh, it's, it's kind of better against Druids too. Yeah, yeah. It can like, you know, soak four, five points of damage. All right. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Lothar, congratulations again. You, you. Uh, advanced to the top four, and now we can chill and like watch your opponents struggle and try to reach uh, where you are already. And I have to build decks. You have to build decks as well, because uh, Lothar can change the decks for his next opponent, mm -hmm. which is pretty exciting. Maybe we will not see uh, the Contra Warrior from you, maybe Green Patron this maybe. time. <laughs> maybe. I would love to see that. Maybe some Shaman. Maybe. Priest? I can... Assure anyone, I will not play priest. <laughs> oh, he's going uh, to play priest for no sure. Priest. <laughs> <laughs> no priest, baby rage. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so uh, that was the first match of today. We have six more, I believe. Uh, yeah, the, the the rest of the top eight, top um, top four, and then the final. Um, now we are going to go for a short break. Don't go anywhere.